Guildhall Hill and Jail Hill run either side of Norwich Guildhall. We'll begin this video looking at the buildings to the north of Guildhall Hill, then look at the Guildhall itself. Beginning at the bottom of Guildhall Hill, east of Dove Street, these business premises were originally houses dating from the early 18th century and are Grade 2 listed. I remember BB Adams on the corner as the first place I ever used a credit card. It's now the Leeds Building Society. On the opposite corner is a branch of Tesco, but historically that was Chamberlain's Department Store. This store dated from 1815, almost a hundred years before Selfridges in London, and it attracted people from all over East Anglia with floor walkers escorting customers to their desired department. This was the store at King Edward VII's coronation in 1902, and this was at King George V's Silver Jubilee in 1935. Four years later the country was at war and air raid precautions were being put in place outside Chamberlain's. The store was eventually taken over by Marshall and Snellgrove in the 1950s. A little further along is a building which housed the Norfolk and Norwich subscription library from 1837 to 1976. These premises occupied the site of a former jail. On August the 1st 1898 this library was destroyed by fire and Chamberlain's was also gutted. It is a bitter irony that on the same day, August the 1st, in 1994, Norwich Central Library was also destroyed by fire, as indeed was Garland's on London Street on August the 1st, 1970. Back to Guildhall Hill, this is Labour in Vain Yard, named after a pub which existed until 1877 before amalgamating with the Guildhall Stores pub, then on the right of the archway to the yard. As we reach the top of the street, this is number one Guildhall Hill, seen here in 1939 and here in 2021. This was the 1935 view of number one. Thomas Moy had several branches of his coal business across East Anglia and was mayor of Colchester. This is the present day view of the shop looking back down the hill. This was the 1920 view of the hill from the top with a tram about to turn into Gentleman's Walk. And the tram lines had been removed by the time of King George VI's coronation in 1937. Onto the Guildhall itself now, it replaced an earlier toll house on the site which had been used for tax collection and small meetings. It was built because of the increased autonomy given to the city after 1404. This is the Guildhall as seen in 1880 compared to the present day view. These 1930s photos show the Guildhall floodlit at night and then in 1939 it was necessary for air raid precautions to be put in place. On the Jail Hill side facing the market is Bassingham Gate relocated from John Bassingham's house in London Street in 1857 when London Street was widened and this door became used as an entrance for magistrates. A garden was created for the 1951 Festival of Britain, sadly no longer there, but on the other side of Bassingham Gate there is still a ring bolt used for tying up and flogging criminals. These general shots of the south side are from the 1930s and again here are the air raid precautions of 1939. This is the Guildhall from the West in 1935, with the hoardings in the foreground screening the demolition required for the new City Hall. In the north side, this door gave access to a cloth hall which controlled the quality and sale of cloth, whereas this entrance is where early fire appliances were stored until relocating to Pottergate in 1899. This is the classic view from the east in 1934 and standing in front of it from 1927 was the War Memorial 
which was carefully dismantled in 1938 and relocated in front of the new City Hall. This drinking fountain dates from 1859 and was part of the Victorian response to the discovery that cholera was spread by contaminated drinking water. This grill at ground floor level provided light and air for prisoners in the dungeon. A fading plaque on the eastern wall refers to Thomas Bilney who was convicted of heresy and held prisoner here and burnt at Lollard's Pit. A city police force was founded in 1836 and a police station along with other extensions to the south were added to the Guildhall in 1861. This clock was a gift from Mayor Henry Woodcock on condition that the false ceiling in the council chamber was removed. So that's the story of Norwich Guildhall and its setting between Guildhall Hill and Jail Hill.